Hello and welcome back. As you know, you can see me because I have to get the thumbnail in order. Remember to turn off the camera this time before I started up the mission, so I didn't need. I don't need to alt up right now. Let's see the cutscene. Blue mountains, or something like that, at least. After a long journey, the heroes arrive at the Blue Mountains. Oh man, that never gets old. They find an army of dwarves preparing for battle outside the entrance of a cave. The evil dragon has forced them from their home beneath the mountains, claiming their underground domain as his new lair. All right, yeah, there we are. Gloin from the east! A great surprise indeed, and well timed! The dragon has burned us out of our own tunnels and made this one here his lair! Now we will take back our home and slay the fiend! The dragon's back! He's destroying everything! It's no use! Catch him up here! We'll have to catch him at his lair! Inside! Those were a lot of upgraded troops. I love how they intertwine cinematic cutscenes with just like gameplay footage like this. We've come to help. Ah, and you bring elves. This is a dwarf in mine. No place for wood folk. Enough of the chatter. Let's slay the dragon and reclaim what is ours. For a second there, I felt like it was not as zoomed out as before, but I am probably just imagining that, right? Uh, maybe it's because we're inside and the camera is kind of uh, up against the ceiling, I guess. But it does look like it's not as far... It's not zoomed in as far as it was before. Let's, of course, just start us off with a fortress and hopefully some resource buildings. It's pretty weird to build everything underground and I think they account for it by giving us some of these treasure chests. Uh, and for now we do of course want to send our heroes out first, huh? And all of our troops can stay in the back a little bit. But yeah, look at this. There's a lot of upgraded troops right here, huh? Glowing you can attack as well. But I want the rest to be in the back. That was apparently a bonus objective. What else do we have? Just slay the dragon for now. Easy enough. That kind of is enough of a pointer to know what we're supposed to do. Let's have our heroes clear out this camp for a second. But yeah, I guess that um, building something out here is not going to be allowed because the dragon might come back and just destroy it, right? So let's just not try that for now. We are gathering some steady resources, I believe. Yeah, a fortress produces some on its own already, so that's great. Uh, it's maybe a bit too late to use the power, but let's just use it on the next building. We are definitely getting a lot of treasure chests though. People who have been following this channel for a while will know that treasure chests are... that Those words are some of the hardest for me to pronounce. I don't know, something in my brain just doesn't allow myself to say treasure... Tre treasure chests. Make sure we run over them though, because I see that our enemies can collect them as well. And these spiders definitely pack a punch, damn, our heroes are really getting beat up. And as I suspected, the dragon is still flying around here, so it's no use building buildings on the outside. For buildings, I don't know what else they really expect of us. I guess we should try and create some ranged units, right? Because, well, a dragon is a flying unit, and if you have played any video games at all in your life, you will know that flying units are most of the time really, really weak to ranged units. And, well, not really just weak. Ranged units are the only units that can damage them. Let's use Glorfindel's power for a second. Glowing, you can start attacking the spiders. Oh, yeah. And yeah, so if for some reason you do not remember what happened in the last episode, we cleared out the Goblin King's encampment over there in the Icy Mountain Zone, the Icy Mountain region. And then all the way at the end, a soul, a lonely dwarven warrior came to us and asked us to help him in his hometown in the Blue Mountains where we are right now because the dragon has been wreaking havoc over here. Talking about wreaking havoc, that's not just spiders anymore but Gloin's attack should be recharged and that's exactly what we are doing now we are trying to help out that one guy that asked us for help that was a bit annoying but all right do we have any other bonus objectives no we do not i think we have cleared out most of the spider presence in this cave at least already that was a scary sound but it's just a dragon whenever he comes out he makes that sound all right let's remember that just for show let's build some other buildings back here i don't think they have any function but for now we can't do anything else with our builders so i guess i would like them to just uh keep themselves busy for a second 
Or well, I should have definitely, definitely bought a building that uh, allows me to buy upgrades first. Because we still need to upgrade all of our troops, of course, that come out. These guys are already upgraded. Our Murkwood archers are here as well still. It's nice that we still have a troop of them because they are one of my favorite troops. Glorfindel does AoE attacks apparently. Uh, or at least it seemed like two two enemies died at once. I didn't really realize that. It wouldn't make more sense to me if Gloin would have the AoE attacks, right? With his big hammer. Let's see what's here in the rest of this cave. Looks like this is a bit of an art outside portion with two goblins just T-posing over here. If you thought that looked really weird, you might be not so familiar. <laughs> like, what's happening? Has Glorfindel always been this badass? He took out an entire troop of goblins with one swing because they were stacked up on top of each other. But what I was saying is, if you're not really that familiar with gaming, you might not realize what that T-posing is. But it's actually um, kind of the base state. A bunch of assets are always loaded in, and especially characters, of course. And if you don't know what assets are, they are kind of like... You can see them as the, the objects in your game world, in the, in the world you are gaming in. And I, I'm not quite certain about the exact specifics anymore i used to know it because i watched the video on it i can remember but it's kind of like the default position they get rendered in and that is because it is the easiest position for them to be manipulated for the arms and legs to be moved around and stuff like that that is the t-pose position so now you know you can get some more resource buildings over here i'm not too concerned about the percentages I'm definitely gonna build the upgrade building as well though. It's quite a cool concept, like really being limited in your build space to the area in the cave. I hope our heroes are getting close to their level because I think that we might be in trouble otherwise if we just keep using only the heroes. Glowing can wreak some havoc though, very nice. Take out this final archer first maybe. Now the building is ours, it's not a building that can produce any more units for us. Why are they over here? They have long range I guess. I really am really doubting whether this is the maximally zoomed out point we were at before. But I didn't change anything about the game files or stuff, so it should be I'm probably just imagining things. Let's quickly check if Gloin can still gain more experience. Yes, he can. So we can go to level 9 already, presumably. Then being level 9 already at the end of like the fourth mission or something, it might seem weird. And that is because it is quite weird. But then again, I do remember, if I'm not mistaken, the... This fine door was meant to keep enemies out. The Molisher can get through it. They look menacing. Um, what was I saying? What the hell was I saying? Oh, you're right. So, they them already being level 9 at the end of the fourth mission or something. But I do remember that the campaigns in this game were a lot shorter than in the first game. Or I seem to remember that at least. I'm not completely sure if it's true, but... I don't know what just happened there, but... Oh, the spiders broke out of this side entrance over here. It's not something we can run into, or probably just only for a little while. But that was a cool effect. I'm sad we missed it. I'm sorry. My camera work is not optimal. Ah, look at that. I guess we can. Build two mineshafts. One in the cave, one of the outside. Alright, this is too much. This is gonna be uh, not that great. Oh, I already built the mineshafts apparently. That's fine. I'm definitely gonna move back a little bit. We don't necessarily have to have our army help out our heroes already, but this has provided me with a bit more overview of what was going on because my screen was getting flooded a bit. I don't want to have them receive help because I want to let them have all the experience they can. I have my healing power ready for when the situation becomes too dire, which is right about now. The Feng Shou brother, check it out now. But for now, the strategy is working out fine. Glorfindel is getting beaten up quite badly, but that's all great because he managed to survive. All right. Easy enough. Another upgrade, please. We're looking for the forged blades, of course. Looks like we are definitely gonna get them to level 9 this mission still. It does mean, of course, that my regular troops are not that great, or not getting that much experience. Or can they get to level 10 this mission? That would be a bit extreme. It is possible that it's just a bit of surplus experience he got from destroying the building, because I believe that it doesn't necessarily stop exactly at the level, they can gain some more on top of it. But getting them to level 10 already this mission, that would be crazy. What I am going to do is already send out our uh, battering rams to destroy the gate. And I built this Hall of Warriors to see if we could use this to get the banner carriers. But it seems like it's not an upgrade that is viable, this mission. Let's just get all the upgrades for good measure right now. 
uh, and I guess we should train some more ranged troops, right? Uh, we can just have them use the tunnels to get there quicker, so we don't need to put the rallying point all the way over there. Let's get four more troops. See if that what does uh, see what that does to our command points. Oh, the door has already been demolished. Let's send them back a little bit then, because I feel like uh, we don't want them to be rushed upon by enemies. Any more bonus objectives? No. Chlorfindel can still definitely gain some experience. Cloin might be. Not sure about that yet. I feel like just sending them ahead is gonna be fine, but I'm just scared that I will trigger like the next phase and the dragon will all of a sudden just fly onto us. There is a whole lot of area of the map still left to discover here, so we should all just be fine. Let's see, what happens if we do this? Does he still gain experience? No, he does not, right? No, he definitely does not. So let's just have Glorfindel reach level 9 for now. And that will be the point where we can include our entire army in our antics. 10 command points. Uh, heal structures, not that interested. Resource output being raised. I am quite interested in that. Or we could save up for 15 points, I guess. Uh... No, you know, let's go for resource output. I like resources. I'm looking for one more troop for Glorfindel to beat up. Let's bait out the spiders a bit over here, because there's also mountain trolls. These guys can all get upgraded. I don't know if that was the full upgrade, but there we go. And now we reach the point where we could, in fact, use our entire army. So that's exactly what I am going to do. And we will just get the upgrades along the way. You guys, though, you should head into the into the tunnel and come out on the other side. Apparently, we just already have the banner carrier upgrade. So that's all fine. Let's have our entire army move just through the main gate and regroup with our heroes. All of our extrawers have all possible upgrades. These guys have all possible upgrades. All of our elves have all possible upgrades. These guys need banner carriers, but I can't seem to purchase it. Very confusing indeed. Let's move along through here a bit. Seems like there's some enemy activity over here. The dragon is still just oblivious to what is happening inside of his new home, so we can just still just roam around freely. Oh, right, and we obviously have to get our troops out of here as well then. They can still receive the banner carrier upgrade, and now I think our army is fully, fully upgraded. I do wonder why we can't purchase the banner carrier upgrade, but it's all fine. They do have the upgraded arrows, that's great, but I want them to reach level 2 before they die so that they can regenerate until they are entirely complete again. Oh, I can't buy their banner, banner carrier upgrades because it's a different upgrade from these ones, so they need to just level up to level 2 in a natural way, which is not that easy. I feel like this was just a small corridor and we depleted everything there was to do here, so let's just move along through the main path. All of our regular Dwarven troops are upgraded completely though, so that is great. I feel like our army is strong enough to just uh, rampage through what we have still opposing to us. But just for good measure, I'll see you guys once I have my command points maxed out. Oh, can builders also enter into the tunnels? Huh, I didn't know that. That's interesting. That's something I need to remember. Alright, there we go. And now once these troops have reached the rest of our army, we can advance and put an end to this. Liberate this fort. I'm already gonna move forward a bit to see where we have to go. There's still some spider troops over here. I believe we have completed every single objective available to us. That is for sure. Fire drakes. Uh oh. Alright, let's be a little careful. That's not really careful, that's not really being careful. This troop just took the entirety of a blast of fire dragons. There's a lot going on all of a sudden. Uh, Merkwood archers, you guys can make quick work of them. We desperately need someone to get rid of those dragons because they are completely destroying our army. We lost one troop of elves, or well, not yet, but we are bound to lose them, that's for sure. Uh, it's hard to keep an overview of how many troops we just lost, but what I did is I queued up a whole bunch of new troops, so whenever our command points are low enough, we will just gain new troops. Hmm, so that was not... Oh, oh man. I, if I knew that treasure chest was gonna be one to advance a rank, we would have definitely, definitely not taken it with just a random troop, but it's all fine. So this is where the main part of the story is gonna take place, right? Where we're gonna find the large dragon. Here is another of those layers. So let's have our troops stand in front of that layer and then have the heroes advance because they are just two single targets and they are quite tanky. They are quite buff, so they can take a hit. They can take some fire. 
And then once that bonus objective is completed, that will then probably be the end of the mission. Or that will allow us to advance to the end of the mission without having to worry about full completion. There we go, a fire dragon. And you can see that it doesn't really damage one hero all that much. It's nothing to sneeze at still, I mean it still is a lot of damage for just one unit to put out. Where is Gloin? He's so slow. Uh, let's keep our heal ready. There we are, let's also improve our armor in here a bit. Gloin, what? He's chilling. He's just taking a little break, taking a little breather. He's on smoke, oh, leave him alone. If you get that reference, 25 respect points. It's quite a steep amount, but it's definitely deserved because it's a great, great band. <laughs> All right, there's gonna be one more fire drake right next to their building, right, right next to their hive. Yep, that's what I suspected. Gloin, you can take care of this little guy. And then Gloin can pursue. Whoa! <laughs> awesome, I didn't know he would do that. And then Gloin can make quick work of this building as well using his other talent. Mm. Demolished. Awesome. And this might advance his rank a bit. Possibly. Woo! That, that did not do anything. That's a bit lame. Uh, we're looking for one more of those layers. Alright, so this this is the main throne room where the rest of our story is gonna progress. So we can just move along through here and see what this still has to offer. There's probably still gonna be a fire drake lair over here. My hands are quite sweaty. It's getting quite warm over here in Belgium. I went for a nice walk yesterday evening and it was like at 10 p.m. or something. It was quite late in the day already, but it was still bright outside and it was still very, very agreeable. The temperatures, they were still very nice. Summer, or well, spring and summer, I guess, but summer in general probably are definitely some of my favorite times of the year. Just having the days being longer is such, such an unbelievable boost for your mental health. Like, really, it's amazing. On those gray and weary and dreary, if that's a word, days, I didn't expect that. Uh, oh, we can use Tom Bombadil. Great thinking, Vincent. Good job on that. Right? You will be able to make quick work of these spiders, I'm sure of it. They might destroy our hero statue, but that's all fine. Right now, it seems like we are gonna have to focus our efforts on, a, or focus our attention rather on this part of the map, because it seems like the danger here is a bit larger. I see that our command points have greatly, greatly diminished. It seems like we are doing fine. There is the last layer of the dragons, or what I presume to be the last one. From Momotel made quick work of them, I keep saying that. We did get a new troop of x so definitely some of our troops were lost there in that battle. And now we are at our command limit again. Thank you for your help, Tom Momotel, it was greatly appreciated. Our valiant elven warrior over here should move out of the way. <laughs> this guy has been through a lot. Can we kill the dragon, please? Thank you. Jesus, it seemed like it took way too long. All fire drake layers have been destroyed. I want this guy to gain a rank. It is, am I doing something wrong? Is he not allowed to reach rank 2? <sighs> maybe it only works on heroes, and maybe it only works on heroes up until the level they are allowed to go in a mission. But still, it's lame. It's very lame. Alright, and this is the final frontier. This is where we were really headed all along, of course. This is where the final battle will happen. There we go. Well, we don't really need to bring down more of the walls, right? We can just move through the destroyed gate, I guess. Let's just move along and let's see what the ending of this mission has in store for us. The rest of our troops definitely need to move along because they are just lagging behind. The dwarves are so slow. The screen is shaking. That's never such a good sign. I'm starting to believe that our elves right here are just immortal. But the screen is doing a whole, whole lot of shaking. Oh, well, we have a tower over here. That's what the blue spot on my map was about. Gloin, can you hit this troop in the back up with your hammer real quick if you would like to do so? Let's see it. Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah, that's that good stuff. Glorfindel taking quite a lot of damage, but he will be able to move out of the fight in a second. Just to be sure I have my heal ready. But I don't believe it's gonna be needed. Well, just for good measure. Uh, you guys use your charge for once, because that will help us out a bit. There we are. And now let's get our entire army moved up here to end of this mission in style. Completed all bonus objectives, all regular objectives, of course, otherwise you wouldn't be able to complete the mission. And in the end, we suffered some casualties, that's for sure, throughout the way or along the way, but I think that everything went A-OK. -okay. Our army just needs to advance, because they seem to not want to advance all that often. They are always just stilling there. 
Oh, we're just chilling there, rather. Let's use glowing. Apparently not to destroy the gate, but to destroy the walls. It is possible. Easy enough. Gate is also down. Everybody is fighting over here. Let's give us some more armor. And now the dragon will come for us here, right? Where is it? Where is this son of a bitch? I can't zoom out any further, so I can't really get a good look of him. But I see him somewhere over here. Let's all just attack him. That's a lot of upgraded arrows, my guy. I wish you the best of luck, but I believe that you are just gonna be decimated. It's already half health. Without making too much of a dent in my forces, he is definitely going down. Drogoth, the Dragon Lord. And the mission is just over. Didn't expect that. There's a bunch of troops left there. But sure, well, that was a bit anti-climactic, an, anti something like that. You know what I mean, that was a bit like luster of an ending, but... Sauron's dragon has been defeated and the Dwarven Ring reclaimed. However, Glorfindel and Glowin are in disbelief when their new allies refuse to join in the war against Sauron. Choosing That's dwarves for you. Turn to mining the riches of their mountains. Disappointed, the heroes set out for the elven port city of the Grey Havens, Hoping for a better reception from the elves. Grey Haven, so that's gonna be the next mission. I remember that one. It's a naval mission, which is a new concept in this second game as well. But as they draw near the city, it is clear that all is not well there. And the city is already in trouble. Alright. Man, that's a cool way of characterizing the dwarves, right? I feel like that's such a typical characteristic of dwarves that they have their home back, they have their home back rather, so they feel safe, they feel they feel satisfied with their efforts, and then what do they do? They just focus on their riches again, and on building armor, and on building up their kingdom again. They don't need to worry about other wars, they got what they wanted. And now they will seclude themselves again into the mountains. And I will seclude myself out of this video, because it's over. Thanks a lot for watching, hope to see you in the next one, bye.